I'm kind of sick of these high school haunts making all these AAA haunts look bad. Hey, what's up, everyone? Justin with Is It Scary Wisconsin, joined yet again by my good friend Gage. And we're here tonight to review Music Mayhem, the haunted attraction, the haunted house event put on at Bayport High School. Presented to you by two alumni, nonetheless. Yeah, class of 06 right here. Class of 2016. That just make you feel old. I'm sorry. Can I just, before we do the review, can I just tell you how nice it was to go through a haunted attraction tonight and actually, like, when I walked out of there, I was like, that was pretty good. <laughs> you know, and we talked about this going into the uh, haunted attraction tonight at Bayport. We talked about how we weren't sure how we were going to do this review because our review assumes haunted house level stuff. It assumes, you know, parking lot, ticket booth, blah, 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 all that stuff. One scare, two scare, up scares, down scares. It assumes all of that stuff. And I was like, you know what? I remember last year. Last year was really, really good. But they would definitely miss on some things. I think we're just going to go on. And we're going to talk about it. We're going we're gonna to tell them, you know, we really liked it. And it was a good show. Hopefully it is. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. And then we went through the haunted attraction. And we had some thoughts going into the car. So, Gage, why don't we get into the review? Because we decided... <laughs> We were actually going to give it the full review. So for those of you that are new to the channel that are seeing this from, um, of course, Bayport, we do our haunted house and haunted attraction reviews, 40 points for general, 40 points for scares, and then 10 points possible, not guaranteed, 10 points possible from each of us for personal thoughts on the attraction. So I'm going to start things off right here with general. Is there a website? Yes. Does the website have good information? Yes. Now, being that this was a high school haunt, I didn't necessarily expect Music Mayhem, Haunted Attraction, to have its own, like, .com website. So I understand that. It was listed right in the calendar at Bay for Bayport High School, 5 to 11. So they basically tell you everything you need to know. I like that a lot. Is parking available on site? Yes. And is it clearly labeled? Uh, yeah, it's a gigantic parking lot. Is there a clearly labeled and attended ticket booth? Yes. And does it present prices and rules? Yes. This was a gripe my brother and I had last year. Go back, watch our review from last year. We complained about this. It was a boring table with some kids sitting at it, out of theme, totally looked out of place, no decorations, no nothing. This year, totally different decorated in theme you knew that there was something going on up here and you knew that's where you were supposed to go and when you went up you could see the big sign that said haunted house i know for a fact that the people responsible for this haunted house watched our video because my mom used to work in the school district i'm so glad you guys made that change that was so awesome to see that and then of course Clear queue lines, yes. And even better, last year they had the lights on and it was totally out of theme. It was totally just, everything was to do with the queue lines last year. The atmosphere and everything was all wrong. And this year it's dark. We've got candles. We've got hanging little uh, pieces from the ceiling. Ooh, did I love it how they stayed in theme. And I loved the fact that clearly whoever is planning this and, you know, whatever, who's ever planning this has a real mind for haunting. I like this. I like this a lot. Are the attractions clearly marked? Of course. Are atmospheric music and audio selections appropriate? Standing in line, you could hear the kind of spooky ambiance music going on. I really appreciated that as last year there was nothing. 
Did actors stay in character? Yes. Full five points for that, by the way. Was the haunt fully well-staffed? Yes. Full five points for that. Was there clear directions through and after the haunt was over? Yes. Was the lighting used in the haunt appropriate? Yes. Were there any unusual scents? Yes, the corn loved it. And we were looking for a scent. Out of all of my questions, scents were going to be the one that I kind of thought you guys would miss. I was pleasantly surprised that you didn't. Did, the, did you catch another group? No, each group gets their own experience. Did this, was the scenery appropriate? Some of the best I've seen. That was funny. Did the haunt maintain immersion? Yeah, for a few moments I actually felt like I was in this scene. Was the walking path safe and well maintained? Yes, but no. This is the only place, spoiler, where you lost any points from me tonight. I smashed my head three times on that low tunnel when the zombies break out. I kept trying to stand up thinking it was just a duck under and I literally smashed my head three times into the ceiling. That is the only place you lost any points from me. And that's my honest to goodness only complaint about the haunted attraction. <laughs> Did the haunt feel appropriately priced? Ah, uh, 13 bucks, hell yeah. Did the haunt have a good atmosphere? Mm-hmm, yep, yep. Best atmosphere they've ever done and some of the best atmosphere I've ever felt in a haunted attraction. I actually forgot that we were in a high school. As we started walking in, I was like, I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, what are these, what is going on here? I'm like, am I at a AAA haunted attraction or am I at a little backyard haunted attraction done by my old high school? What is this? I actually forgot we were in a high school. That's how, that's how immersive it was. That's how good it was. Score for general, 39 out of 40. For those of you who have been keeping track, that is the highest score I have given on general this year for any haunted attraction. Well done, Music Mayhem. Well done, Bayport. And, and before anybody thinks that I'm a bootlicker, if you watch any of our videos on this channel, I am the meanest one. It is very easy for me to say mean, cruel things and take points off. If I found something I didn't like, trust me, I would have called it out. I didn't like smashing my head. That's why you lost a point. Go ahead, Gage. Talk to us about the scares. <clears throat> For scares, did actors attempt to scare you? Yes. Two points. Were the makeup were was makeup used of good quality? I gave them a point for this. Kind of seemed like just you know some smearing red makeup on some faces. Uh, for its level, totally understandable. One a single point for that. Did props seem real and scary? Again, for its level, yes. Two points. Were the actors in the correct positions? Yes. Two points. Were there a variety of monsters and haunters on the site? Unless explicitly stated. So I did kind of look it up. I was curious about this. I didn't see anything about it mentioning zombies um, on the site. Uh, or was anything mentioned about zombies? And like I said, it was mainly the makeup was okay tier. Along with the not so many different kind of uh monsters and such so i did give them a point out of two still not bad for its level of hot did any actors try to scare you twice in a scene yes did any actors try to scare you three times in a scene yes if there was a point for did any actors scare you like six times in a scene five seven how many yes <laughs> did any actors scare from below the waist yes anything from above yes also two for each of those was there more than jump scares in the haunt? Yeah, there was. There was more than jump scares. Was there a go-home scare in the very last room of the haunt? Yes. 
Definitely there was. I love the how we were as we were walking up, we actually kind of saw it, seeing all the kids just rumble running, stumbling, running away from the zombies. Uh now, this is normally where we come into play with the whole same old scary. Obviously, I wasn't there last year, so I did the overall experience, and I did give them a 5 out of 5 for hang this. On, hang on. Mm-hmm. Even if you weren't there, I can vouch and say this was nothing like last year, so it would also be a 5 out of 5. We can do the same old scary. It's also a 5 out of 5. Would you almost put it on par with the old Revenge location? Because they obviously had to tear it down every year and set up a brand new one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this was mm-hmm. a so if you compare this show to last year's show, totally different. So mm-hmm. so you actually I appreciate that you did the modification, but either way they got the same points. Mm-hmm. Did the actors seem well trained and enthusiastic? Yeah, very enthusiastic. It made up for a lot. Uh, were all props, animatronics, and devices in working order? Yeah, two points. Were there any unique scares? Yes, two points. I want to say unique because they did do some things that I actually haven't seen before in a hunt. For its level of spooky, you know? For its level of haunt. Bay part. Oh my goodness. I just I just took a stupid pill right there. Was there any... Did you get a... Did you get this... Did, did anyone scream, get out? Thankfully, not. It was close. We were close. But not. So I had to give him the full two points. Did any sounds used to enhance the scares? Yes. There were plenty of sounds used to enhance scares and where it was needed. Otherwise, silence is golden. Kind of like Terror Shed. That's it for my additional points. Out of that, that is a 38 out of 40. You know, there is one thing to be said that you and I, I I believe this is the highest that I gave it as well. You could be saying, oh... They, they just sound like a bunch of bootlickers. Here's the thing, is that this haunt is just a morsel size. It's just a nice dessert kind of level haunt. So with the fact that being, you can pack so much into it for just that small experience and have it be a great time. That just goes to show that you don't need a very long haunt. You don't need a 20 minute, 15, 25, oh my goodness, 30. You don't need that long of a haunt to be for it to be good. A short and sweet haunt can be just as good, if not better, than most big-name professional haunts. So let's talk about it before we get into the personal points and get into the total score. There's one thing that I do want to caution them about in the future. Watch how your doors open. Watch how some of your panels open. I had a door swing right into my hand when an actor did a pop-out. Having opening doors when you're in a hallway... It's better to have there just be sheets. That way you don't have to worry about somebody getting smashed. I didn't really complain about it or take any points off for it, but it did happen. I I didn't get hurt. It didn't hurt me. But I noticed it, and it was... It was kind of like an oh, it's just a construction thing. Had Had they done a black sheet top to bottom instead of an opening door, that probably wouldn't have happened. So, um, just some general stuff. Um, the way they set up the queue lines this year really helped with the atmosphere and it really helped build our anticipation getting up there. We were talking to your girlfriend Gage and we were kind of like, you ready mm-hmm. for this, Jenna? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? You know, cause neither of you have ever been there. So, you know, we were kind of psyching her up a little bit. We were kind of getting after her a little bit and she seemed, she was really excited to go through. And uh, so it definitely helped build that excitement. It definitely helped build that experience. And that's just a commentary, again, to the minds behind setting this haunt up, planning this haunt, and planning everything about the way things flow. That's just a commentary on the quality and the haunt knowledge that's going into this construction. So, Gage, any just general commentary you want to make about, like, your feelings going into tonight or about kind of what you were expecting? Because... I knew it was going to be pretty good because I went last year, but I also had that kind of feeling that I had when we went to the terror shed, like, oh man, this could be really bad. This Mm -hmm. could be a miss. You know, we might have to just go on and say, yeah, it was a decent show, you know, could have been better, but it wasn't bad, you know, 
So I was actually, when we were walking out of there, I was like, we can review this just like any other haunted attraction. And I'm sure they want to be treated just like everybody else. So that's what we're going to do. You're kind of touching on the point that I wanted to make is that we went into this. I, it's funny because when we were late, waiting in line, we were making jokes. You know, I don't wish expect smells. We should be, expect, you know, around three times scares. We're making jokes. We weren't expecting that. Yeah, they didn't have any actors scaring in the queue line. No queue yeah. line work. Two points off. Lazy queue line actors. Hire some more people. You know, we were making jokes. Yeah. We we were making jokes because... You, you guys you know, have to understand. You guys have to understand. We do this all October. This is all we do. And it's all we think about. We watch our reviews. We grade ourselves. We critique ourselves. We were very critical of ourselves. All we do when we go to haunted attractions is see it as a business now. And it's like, so we're joking around about it. We're having fun with it. But of course we knew, or we thought we were going to have to be different. Right, Gage? So, yeah, exactly. So what I was going to say was we are going through the house. We were thinking, wait, hang on. There's two scares. Wait, there was three scares. Was there smells? I smell smells. I smell corn. Ooh. Hang on. There was a scare from above. And below? Oh my God, Justin, we can record this like we do any other yeah, hunt. Yeah, I know, I know. We were so we, excited. We're like high fiving and shit. It was good. Initially, initially, while we were in the waiting room, we were thinking, you know, oh, we're just going to post a video talking about it. We weren't really yeah. going to post a traditional review. Here we are. We're posting a traditional review because yeah. they hit the marks. Yeah, that right. being said, like, like I said earlier, it's a short and sweet. If you can make any haunt nice and short, you can get the job done. You can get all 40 points. You don't need a 20-minute haunt. Give me a 10-minute haunt with good mm -hmm. scares, energetic actors, and, like, um, engaging scenery. And I'll take that over a 30-minute, you know, up, down, all bad. People watch out, people with the knees, up and down and all up around. Up and down, yeah. Yeah, but bad. Well, who uh, says that? Yeah, yeah, who says that? But... Phenomenal, yeah, by the way. Yeah, I'll take a 10-minute haunted attraction like we had tonight over a 30-minute snooze fest any day. Mm -hmm. um, some things that I really liked. This is the first haunted attraction that I've ever been to where I walked over an actor. Remember the person who was below us? That was my scare from below. That was really cool. And you were pointing it out, and I looked down, and I was like, I was almost afraid to walk over them, mainly because I'm a fatty. I was almost <laughs> afraid to walk over them, because I'm like, what if this collapses? It was really good. And, uh, there, you know, sometimes we go into, like, those grabber hallways where people are reaching through the walls, and it's like maybe one person or two people. It was people everywhere. I mean, there were a lot of actors in there. I liked it. Cage, go ahead, man. I feel like it being a school setting, I should raise my hand before I speak. I wanted to make a point. Was that the first time ever in a haunted house? Were you scared for the actor because you didn't want to crush them? Yeah. Was yeah. that the first time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And it was also the first time I've ever seen that, like where you can actually like see through something. Mm -hmm. So I had some concerns at the early part of the attraction, right? Because you're getting in, you're getting going, you go around the first couple corners, you see your, you, they have a, they have an interesting way of telling a story. And what I mean by this is there's no words. They're not telling you what's going on based on your life experience of watching movies like World War Z and uh, Resident Evil and any of these other zombie outbreak movies, you can tell the story without words. Now, let me tell you how difficult that can be. For some people, that can be very difficult. Not for Music Mayhem. They told an entire story. They told you everything you needed to know without one single word. Now that is really, really impressive. Visual storytelling. Visual storytelling instead of 
Here's an info dump at the start. The world. Make sure you stop and wait so I can talk to you and tell you about our hunt. Let me talk to you. Stop. You've broken the law. Like it was. It was very. It was very nice to see a haunt that did that and wasn't afraid to take some risks. Mm -hmm. There was another point where when we came up to the first couple, I think those are music practice rooms or something. I think Chris Murphy and I used to practice for the talent show in there or something, and. Where I'm like, I could see in there, I was like, oh, did they really not theme these? And as I'm turning and looking, there's people like in there coming at me. And I'm like, okay, maybe I need to back up a minute here and give these guys a little bit more credit. Now that, to be fair, was some of the first actors we were encountering, first like non-story actors. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was kind of like, okay, I, I think I need to, I think I need to get back into haunted house mode here and not just into high school haunt mode. Mm -hmm. And that's where, that was the point where my brain started going, uh, bro, you might not be giving these guys enough credit. They did good. Let me ask you this, Justin, how long is this recording? 21 minutes already and we haven't even touched on personal points. That's going to probably be another 15. That just shows you. That just shows you that this haunt is not to be underestimated. I got to be honest with you. Outside of Revenge and Realm of Darkness. It was a... Yeah. I, I get you. I, you don't. We, it's the best. That's it's the best. It's you. the best haunt I've been to all year. It was good. I actually wanted to go again. I really wanted to go again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was excellent. So, uh, Gage, anything else you want to talk? Just general stuff. No, nah, man. I feel like I just want everyone to know by me going into my bonus points section, it's going to be pretty spoilers. It's so, gonna, if you gonna, haven't it's gone, gonna, it's going to be pretty cringe gonna be pretty cringe gonna be yeah yeah along those terms so um you want me to go first with bonus points yeah go right for it okay here we go guys plus one point there were tons of actors in there every scene had three four five or six actors it was crazy i i i mean that i think is the best thing about high school haunts is you have a big actor pool you can play with Provided that you have people that want to do it, right? Because I'm assuming this is volunteer. They're, maybe they get some extra credit or something, which I would totally be doing it for extra credit. I would do it for free at this point. Um, this was awesome. Tons of actors. It made it feel like the scenes were alive, especially during the breakout scene. That was a really, really nice touch, and I liked it. Plus one. New story and scenes. This was not a recycled haunt from last year. And even if it had been, they probably still could have scored pretty high. But they definitely would have lost points from me. Because let me tell you guys what. The fact that they went from last year's show, which I considered to be one of the best shows of the year last year, and brought an additional top contender show this year is really impressive. Plus one point. Another plus one point. It actually had intensity to it. The actors were actually getting after us and they were actually coming after us. Now, of course, there's a point where they're either going to A, jump on you, or they're going to B, stop. I get it, right? We're not going to run through the house. You don't run in haunted houses. That's how you get hurt. That's how you smash your head on the top of a wall. There was actual intensity to the scenes. Plus one point. I liked it. Plus one point. Excellent theming and the cue line. That was something we harped about last year. We're standing in a brightly lit music room. That sucked. This year, it's dark. Candles, chandeliers, loved it. Everything was in theme. That's what I'm talking about. Plus one, the ticket booth was also in theme. I loved it. I love walking up there and actually knowing what I'm walking up to instead of, you know... A plain table. Ooh. Plus one. The tilt room was awesome. This is one of the first times I've been in a room that was this. Tilted. <gasps> <laughs> it 
This I don't get this joke. I really liked the way they did this, and it was so uneven and weird. We go to uh, haunts like the Realm of Darkness do this in the clown room, and it's proper theming, of course, because clowns it's usually a weird, like a funhouse style thing. This was almost like a room, like an actual room, raised. It was such a cool feeling. Whoever built that. Awesome. Ten points to Gryffindor for that. Plus one. This high school haunt, again, high school haunt, ticked every single box for me. When I walked out of there tonight, it was one of the most satisfactory haunt experiences I've had in years. Plus one. The storytelling was A+. Plus. No words, just scenery and visuals. Loved it. Plus one, at the end of the haunt, one of the actors, because I was talking about, oh God, why do these bedsheets smell like Febreze? One of the actors actually had a good sense of timing and whispered in my ear, because I'm behind you. Bro, I'm a grown 37-year-old man who can take care of himself, and you scared me. That was awesome, and I loved it. You didn't just come screaming down the hallway like an idiot. You snuck up on me because I wasn't looking for you, and you got a great creep scare. So, so, so well done. Plus one. This group has solidified themselves as an upper tier haunting group. I sought this haunt out this year. Remember, Gage, I told you we're going to Bayport? So... I know the construction on Lineville is not helping them at all. Uh, a few weeks ago, I had a wedding, and I met up with my cousin, Janessa. She, of course, goes to slash went to Bayport. And um, I asked her, I said, hey, is Bayport doing that haunted house again this year? And when she told me yes... In my chest, I was like, dun, 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 dun. I was so excited because I knew we were going to be treated to another good show. And of course, I immediately bombarded her. What are the dates? How much is it? When is it? You know, because I wanted to go with you, Gage. It was really important to me that I got to bring you to this show this year because you and mm -hmm. Jenna had to miss it last year. Yeah. I actually sought this haunted attraction out because it was so good last year. You guys have solidified yourself now as being a top tier attraction and event every year. And I really hope this continues. This is the first haunt since we've adopted this new review style to get 10 additional bonus points from me. Congratulations and well done. Your current score is an 87 out of 100, which is more than most haunts score after both of us talk. Congratulations. If Gage gives you zero bonus points, you're a great haunt. Go ahead, Gage. Bonus points. Zero bonus points. Okay, thank you guys for I'm watching. Kidding. I'm Justin. I'm Justin with I'm kidding. Wisconsin. My I have bonus points, albeit few, but they are bonus points nonetheless. I want to note if you have not been to this haunt, this is spoiler bonus points. Go to this haunt, then watch this video, or skip five minutes, ten minutes ahead, so you can get the final score. I have a bonus point. For the mosh pit of zombies at the initial hallway. When we were going through there, I was thinking, all right, yeah, there's a bunch of dudes. 
these little little cells. Pretty cool. They got a lot more intense. <laughs> they uh they broke out. And I'm thinking, okay, all right, cool. They broke out. That was a lot more than just breaking out. It actually felt like a riot. It felt like a prison break. They had they even had the music going like the uh, my microphone didn't pick it up, but I was making an alarm sound. It, it was letting them know, hey, prison escape. I had to give an extra bonus point for that. It was one of the best scenes of the year so far. It really was. My next point is the the setting. Just the setting prop work was very impressive. Everything was unique, it seemed. For its level, again. For its level, I, I come into these thinking, all right, there's going to be some tarps. <laughs> there's going to be some cardboard. There's going to be some dude in a mask saying, boogie, 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 boo. No. No, I was wrong. I was dead wrong. I was undead wrong. And I was really impressed with the, like you, like as you stated, the sideways flooring. I, I felt like I was almost going to fall over. So that was really impressive. Nice job, Aport, on that one. My last additional point is the hand hull. It was just really cool to walk because I haven't seen that. I haven't seen all these hands come out, reach, and try to grab people. It was really cool, and I just, I enjoy that. So out of that three, that was really the cool few things that stepped out of me that I want to give the bonus points for. Uh, I do want to mention my MVA, that we can mention yours, Justin, if you have one. My MVA is the group of zombies at that mosh pit in the beginning, because I know, like, I'm a grown-ass man, and I'm walking through that, and I'm like, oh, creepy, spooky, wow, I want to, you know... But, like, let me tell you what, I actually had to stifle some of my fear because I felt like I had to run. I felt the urge to push Justin and go because he, four, three, five, however many, I didn't count because I actually kind of freaked out. I didn't want to look behind me, was following up right behind me, whoa, reaching out to grab you. And they didn't touch me, which is also impressive. You know what? Because they didn't touch me, I'm going to give them a bonus point for that. So then I'm going to bring that up. I think that's a 91 at this point if my math is right but anyways you managed to make a grown man have to stifle his fear out of you know maturity i wanted to run nice job you group of zombies <laughs> that brings their final score to a 91 out of 100 and that ties them with the realm of darkness and kakana Go ahead and do your research, viewers, and you'll see it's one of the best haunts in the state. Um, again, two totally different haunts, and we understand that. Uh, really well done. Two really... different tiers of haunts, by the way. I'm just yeah, throwing out there. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, though, because we wanted to treat them as a lower tier event tonight, and we ended up saying, no, we're going to treat them like the big boys, and I'm glad we mm -hmm. did. Uh, it was a really good show. My MVA, I have two. My first MVA is a pair. It's the two who were telling stories at the start, the two the scientists doing the test tube and working at the typewriter slash computer at the start, uh, doing nonverbal storytelling. Very, very impressive. And my other MVA is the, I believe, gentleman who whispered in my ear as we were walking out. Uh, it was just absolutely wonderful. Uh, great scare acting. Didn't, didn't show himself at the back of the hallway by screaming and then run up at me waited until he got right behind me that that was just that was top tier really well done uh gage any closing thoughts for music mayhem at bayport high school in 2024 i feel like there's gonna be a lot of our viewers who are grown people to watch us and be like you guys saw a bunch of teenager kids were scary let me go ahead and rephrase this that sure it wasn't terrifying like how revenge is or realm is yeah. but statistically they hit all the marks yep this is this is what shows you if you have a haunt that can hit all the marks yep you can be put up there with the rest of them yep yeah 
They scored really well tonight. The show was really good for thirteen bucks. It was a nice. It was a nice community. Thirteen event. bucks and less. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't and I don't feel bad going out and supporting that. Um, when you go to a haunted house, you need to suspend disbelief anyway. You need to suspend your. You need to be able to say, "Hey, I know they can't touch me. They're not really zombies." They're not, there's not really an outbreak going on here. I can't really die. They're not going to tackle me and beat me up. It's just not going to happen. You you can't do that to yourself, though, right? You can't go through the hunt and be like, hi, you can't touch me. You know, when you do that, right, even as an adult now, right, I'm 37 years old, I could have easily walked through that and been like, yeah, you can't touch me, suck at haters. Why ruin the show? Ruin the show for yourself. Don't ruin it for yourself. Ruin the yeah. show for yourself. Ruin the show for everybody else. Don't do that. Don't even go at that point. At that point, stay home. You suck anyway. I know plenty of people that act like that. I, there's no need for that. Go have fun. And I think Music Mayhem at Bayport High School is the place to go and have fun at in 2024. It was an absolutely awesome haunted attraction. I loved it. 91 out of 100. Gage, I think you enjoyed it too. And... Um, well, at the end of the day, there's just one question we have to ask. From two basic, from two Bayport alumni to you, is it scary, Wisconsin? Have a good night.